Hey, Ivan from the EV Stock Channel here, and in this episode, we're looking at global EV sales from 2022. But before we begin, thank you to all the Patreons that make these episodes possible. And as always, all content is my opinion only and not financial advice. So let's get started. In the United States, Tesla dominated the EV market in 2022, and it's not even close. I mean, to get a sense of just how far in front Tesla was, the Model Y outsold the next best-selling non-Tesla vehicle, which was the Ford Mustang Mach-E, at a rate of more than 6 to 1. Not to mention, with Tesla's recent price cuts, the Model Y is now substantially cheaper than the Mustang Mach-E. Moving on, here's another chart of the US market where we can see total auto sales. And as we can see, Tesla's growing rapidly while Legacy Auto are all trending down since 2019. And keep in mind, as of December 2022, EVs only made up about 6% of all new cars sold, which is still substantially lower than compared to countries like China and Europe, which we'll be moving on to shortly. Next up, Australia, which has seen huge growth in Tesla sales now that the Model Y has started selling. And with the increase in sales, the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y are absolutely dominating the Australian EV market with the closest competitor being the BYD Atto 3. But to get a sense of how far Tesla has come, think about this. They beat out the Toyota Camry, which had claimed first place for the last 28 years when looking at mid-sized sedans. And this caught Toyota completely off guard, as this article states. Following the end of 2022, Toyota initially claimed that the Toyota Camry was the top-selling medium sedan for the 29th consecutive year. And then, somebody must have pointed out, have you guys actually bothered to check actual sales numbers before declaring victory? Well, obviously not. So then, within hours, Toyota had changed the press release to state that the Toyota Camry was merely the top-selling medium car priced under 60000 effectively acknowledging that it had been knocked off from top place for the first time in almost three decades. And if Toyota was still under the impression that this was a once-off, a recent poll of Australians has revealed that 42% of Aussies are saying that they'll buy an EV next. So things could get interesting. Now, let's move on to Europe, where Tesla delivered 92,000 vehicles in Europe in Q4. And keep in mind, Giga Berlin is only ramping production. When we look at individual countries, we can see that Tesla delivered a combined 22.7 thousand Model 3 and Ys into the UK market in Q4. And both Tesla models were one and two amongst EV sales in the UK. Meanwhile, in December, the UK reported that one-third of all vehicles sold were EVs. Three years ago, it was 2.6%. I mean, think about that for a second. And now it's 32.9% three years later, showing you just how fast the uptake has been. Meanwhile, it's the same story in Germany. A huge fourth quarter for both Model 3 and Y has resulted in Tesla taking first and second place in the German EV market. Also note, the EV uptake in Germany was even greater than the UK at 35.7% in December. Will this be a wake-up call for German legacy auto manufacturers, as Tesla has beat out companies like Volkswagen and BMW in their very own backyard? And remember, Tesla has just lowered prices in Europe putting Tesla in a position to build on their lead going into 2023 at the same time as ramping production at Giga Berlin. Moving on to France, where we see another record quarter for Tesla deliveries, thanks to the Model Y. Although when we switch to the best-selling EVs, the Peugeot 208 EV took the crown for 2022, followed by the Dacia Springs, just ahead of the Model 3. As for EV adoption in France, we can see that it came in at 15.8% in December, a slower growth rate than that of the UK and Germany, but still trending in the right direction. Next up, Norway, and as predicted, a record quarter for Tesla, with a huge batch of Model Ys being delivered, which ensured the Model Y was a best-selling EV in Norway, with its yearly total of 17,342 deliveries, it beat out a long-standing sales record of the VW Beetle, 
a record that stood since 1969. Meanwhile, Norway ended the year with 82.8% of total auto sales being electric vehicles, another sign the market for combustion engines is shrinking year by year. The final country that we're going to look at is Sweden, where Tesla didn't deliver a record in Q4. And also, unlike in Norway, the Volkswagen ID4 claimed top spot, while the Model Y only finished in third place. But the big news in Sweden is that in December, more than half of all new vehicles sold were fully electric. I mean, look at the last three Decembers, 19% in 2020, 36% in 2021, and 51% in 2022. That's how quickly things can change. So to wrap things up, Germany was the biggest market for Tesla for the second year in a row in Europe. While the Model Y was the best selling vehicle in the United Kingdom, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Norway, Slovenia, Portugal and Belgium. Also, the Model Y was the best seller in the US, while the Model 3 was the best selling EV in Australia. So, great year for Tesla. And keep in mind, in 2022, globally, 7.8 million EVs were sold, which is about 10% of the total market. In Europe, that number was 17.3%, while in China, which will be covered in depth in a future episode, the number was 25% of all new cars sold were fully electric. Of those numbers, Tesla had a global EV market share of around 16.6% of all new battery electric vehicles. China accounted for two thirds of all EVs sold globally. And this is where Tesla sold around 429,000 vehicles. Finally, total auto sales globally were 80.6 million down 1% from 2021. So when we look forward to 2023, Tesla starts the year with massive price cuts which have already boosted demand across the globe, while at the same time, Giga Berlin and Giga Texas continue to ramp production. And then there's a Cybertruck, which is due to start production, hopefully by mid-year. Things are just getting interesting. And until next time, hope you enjoyed the episode and have a great day.